Crime Prevention Minister Jeremiah Norbert is extending an olive branch to the opposition United Workers' Party as he looks to move forward with his mandate of engaging all stakeholders in the battle to beat back crime. Crime is everybody's business, including the opposition, and the Prime Minister stated clearly um, at the government house when he made the announcement of me being given the ministerial portfolio. He said it clearly that one of the things that he mandated is that I listen to everybody and that I bring all stakeholders together. And he ensured that he emphasized on opposition as well. So I will make a deliberate effort and attempt to ensure that we get everybody involved, including the opposition. Bigger than politics. This is how Norbert described a united effort towards crime fighting. The newly appointed minister has welcomed local, regional and international assistance aimed at aiding St. Lucia's crime-fighting efforts. I am very confident in the ability of our police officers in St. Lucia. I want to commend them for their efforts, um, especially within the past couple of weeks or past month, you would have seen a significant improvement in terms of police presence and police operations being undertaken. Everywhere you pass in the city, on the outskirts, everywhere within the country, you would have seen the police doing their work. And that speaks for itself. We would have seen from the time we saw the increase, what we also saw was a, a decline in the numbers and it shows that the police are there, they're ready to work, our police officers are ready to work. And sometimes we have to augment what they're doing with the um, assistance of other agencies and we welcome it. Officials have labeled crime as a public health threat with many Caribbean nations impacted. Most recently, the executive director of the regional security system, RSS, pointed to weak governance as an enabling factor in transnational crime, calling on countries to shore up their security, government, and financial systems as means to deter criminal activities. All sorts of training is welcome, um, especially military training. And I know that the police officers would also welcome the opportunity to be able to beef up their skills, to be able to beef up their expertise. Um, we see the whole crime situation is an evolving one, and we, we need to ensure that police officers are up to date in terms of their training, in terms of their ability, they too are up to date. So I know that they would welcome it, and I know that it will go a long way in terms of helping the police officers in their efforts in combating crime. The government of St. Lucia is also banking on its robust social program agenda to help in its crime alleviation efforts.